my name is Matthew Walker and I'm a professor of neurology at the National Hospital for Neurology and Neurosurgery, Queen Square. So one of the things that challenges me every day in my clinical life is to try to identify where seizures are beginning in the brain. And the tool that we use clinically is uh, EEG, but this has many restrictions. We cannot see very deep into the brain. It has very poor spatial resolution. And what we'd love to be able to do is use MEG, which addresses those particular problems. The problem with MEG at the moment, however, is that it's not a very easily accessible clinical tool. People have to have it done in a special room. Uh, they have to be, have it done stationary with an enormous metal helmet around their head. Uh, and what we want is some other method uh, where we could do MEG in people at the bedside, perhaps, uh, who can move and, ha and have their seizures, and then we'll be able to identify very precisely where in the brain the seizures are coming from. Uh, and that will uh, address uh, a particularly important issue for us, which is what part of the brain do we need to remove or what part of the brain do we need to treat in order to get those seizures better. Although I'm very much involved in the clinical aspects of this, uh, I'd very much like to hand over now to Professor Gareth Barnes, who is the brains behind uh, the way in which we're going to address this really critical question uh, for patients and people with epilepsy. And indeed, I think it will address many things uh, and problems in neuroscience. Hello, my name is uh, Professor Gareth Barnes. I work here at the Wellcome Trust Centre for Neuroimaging. And I've spent my career working with these huge MEG systems that Matthew was talking about. So these systems are very large, not portable, and very expensive, and they're full of liquid helium. That means it's been very difficult for me to work with people like Matthew until now, because clinically the machines haven't been very accessible, especially for children, because the machines are built at a certain size and children's heads are always a bit too small for these machines. So the main clinical applications that our MEG systems could deliver haven't been realised to date simply because the machines are too big, large and bulky and expensive. What we've got hold of recently is a new set of MEG sensors that are about the size of this marker pen and they don't need to be filled with liquid helium, they don't hardly need any maintenance. That means we can begin to place these just around the head. It means we can start to study lots of different people we haven't been able to study before, like children or adults that are moving around. This poses loads of engineering, exciting engineering problems. Firstly, we're, we've got to measure stuff from the brain, so we have to know uh, when we're measuring magnetic fields outside the head, where in the brain it's coming from with these new kinds of sensors. And secondly, we have to account for the, the person's movement inside this magnetic field in this hostile magnetic environment, for example, in a hospital or in a clinical ward. But if we can do this, um, it'll, the clinical and neuroscientific benefits would be quite tremendous. It will mean uh, that we can begin to do neuroscience that has never been done before and see patients that we've never been able to look at before. You will be working between myself uh, and Matthew, so you'll have to You'll have to have a very good grip of the, the clinical problem, that is localising the site of an epileptic focus or localising a bit of healthy brain that we don't want the neurosurgeon to cut out. And, and, and you also have to understand the engineering that goes into interpreting the signals from these sensors and, and trying to find where and which bits of the brain are giving rise to the changes in the magnetic field. So you'll have, to be, you'll have to have a very good solid engineering background, but you'll also have to be aware of the clinical problem that we're trying to address. What's great is you'll be one of the first people in the world that will be doing this. So UCL is the best place to do this because uh, we've got world-leading expertise in neuroscience here at the Wellcome Trust Centre for Neuroimaging. Uh, we, we're combining that with Matthew's world-renowned clinical expertise in epilepsy diagnosis and treatment. And we're using a brand new sensor type that nobody's ever used before uh, to solve this really important clinical problem.